Wigger's diagram, it is pictorial representation of cardiac cycle. Normally one cardiac cycle duration is 0.8 seconds, 0.3 seconds for systole and 0.5 seconds for diastole. Systole can be divided into three phases, isovolumetric contraction, rapid ejection phase and slow ejection phase. Diastole can be divided into four phases, isovolumetric relaxation phase, rapid filling phase, slow filling phase and atrial contraction. If we take ECG, P wave is due to atrial contraction or depolarization, QRS complex is due to ventricular contraction and T wave is due to ventricular relaxation or repolarization. Let's plot pressure in millimeter mercury in the Y axis and let's study the aortic, left ventricular and atrial pressure curves in various phases of cardiac cycle. Coming to aortic pressure it is around 80 millimeter mercury during diastole, during ejection phase of left ventricle the aortic pressure increases to about 120 millimeter mercury as the blood is pumped into the aorta. During isovolumetric relaxation phase the aortic valve closes and it causes dichrotic notch in the aortic pressure curve. Coming to LV pressure tracing, during isovolumetric contraction, ventricle contracts in a closed chamber as both aortic and mitral valve is in closed position, so pressure rapidly raises in the LV. When the pressure in the LV raises more than in aorta, the aortic valve opens and ejection phase starts. At the end of the ejection the LV pressure drops then the aortic pressure and the aortic valve closes and isovolumetric relaxation phase starts. As the pressure in LV falls below the atrial pressure the mitral valve opens and starts the rapid and slow filling phase of ventricle. Coming to atrial pressure during atrial contraction it is more than the LV pressure and blood empties into ventricle. During isovolumetric contraction LV contracts in closed chamber, the LV pressure raises and pushes the closed mitral valve into atria causing increase in atrial pressure. During the ejection phase of ventricle the atrium gets filled with blood and the pressure in atria slowly raises and when the pressure is more than the LV pressure the mitral valve opens and filling phase of LV starts. When we translate this to right atrial pressure, jugular venous pulse can be studied. A wave corresponds to atrial contraction, C wave corresponds to bulging of closed tricuspid valve into right atrium during isovolumetric contraction of right ventricle. V wave is due to passive atrial filling. First heart sound is heard when mitral valve closes during isovolumetric contraction and second heart sound is heard when aortic valve closes during isovolumetric relaxation phase. Third heart sound occurs during rapid filling phase it may be physiological or pathological. Fourth heart sound is pathological and occurs during atrial contraction against a non-compliant ventricle.